Hi, this is Steve from Daryl from Conductive Labs, and we're going to talk a little bit more about the MRCC and about the activity monitor and plugging in multiple devices at the same time. So let's have a quick look here. Here's the activity monitor, and if I turn on a noodler, you'll see that the very top row, because I'm plugged into input one, is showing activity. I'll turn it off and it'll go away. Uh, on the sec on the on that row, that's uh, USB A. That's where I've got my Novation plugged in. And I've got the uh, launch pad plugged in in C, and you can see it turns on. So let's route some of these things, and you'll see how that works. So I'll turn the noodler on, and it will be routed to the Hydra, and you can hear that pinging in the back. And let's go back here, and you can see that the blue light is going on. That blue light saying that I've got data coming in on one, that's the top row, and going out on three, which is the third column. So I can also route the uh, Novation launch key. I'll select that and select that there. And now let's go back and if I press on that one, you can hear it going. So I'm making, uh, I'm merging the two devices, the noodler and the, the launch key. And then we can do the launch pad. So I'll select the launch pad and I'll also choose that output. Go back to the screen. Now you'll see that there's three. These two boxes are empty and they're not because I'm not playing any notes. But if I hit them, you'll see that there'll be activity coming. So now it's kind of noisy. But what's cool is that I've got the noodler coming in on a five pin DIN. I've got the launch key that only has a USB connection plugged into USB host A. And I've got the launch pad going into host C. And I'm merging all of them, as you can see. So that's really cool to be able to, to merge 5-pin as well as USB on the same device. And if I were to have some other outputs here and go back, you'll see now if I hit this one, you'll see that there's activity going out to all those ports, even though there's nothing plugged into them. But it's very easy to monitor where you're getting inbound uh, messages as well as um, uh, and where they're routed to on the outbound.